Hello, I'm Jason, and Akiva and I did some work implementing oracle types for TypeScript. What we did was make the type language of TypeScript more extensible by letting you ask an external oracle for the type of an expression in your code. This is useful because it lets a programmer implement a variety of type checking frameworks without having to modify the TypeScript type checker themselves. Some examples we support are the ability to refine numeric types with arithmetic constraints, which can be solved by an external constraint solver. Having a database, ORM, that maintains consistency with a live database. Something we call mobile-first interactive type checking and machine translation between different human languages. Here's a quick demo of two of our applications. First, here's an example of our database, ORM, being used. The programmer specifies database connection information then they can get tables of the database as model objects, then query those tables in a natural way, as if they were just objects in memory. Down here, we see there's a type error because we haven't defined the review model yet. So we can go back up and put that in. We can tab complete on the name of the table because the type system knows the schema of the database. If we go over here and actually change the contents of the database by deleting a table, we can see that the type system hopefully informs us that there is now a type error. Our next example is something novel we call Mobile First Interactive Type Checking. It is a true showcase of the new capabilities that Oracle types enable. As you may be familiar with on the television show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, sometimes you face a hard question and need to phone a friend. Of course, nobody likes phone calls anymore, so you use text messages. If we uncomment this line of code, the type checker causes a text message to be sent and a human being can give an answer and we see that the type checker has reported it correctly. That concludes the demo. Now I'd like to tell you about our implementation strategy. Our inspiration is the type level functions introduced in TypeScript 4.1, which transform strings by uppercasing or lowercasing them. For maximum extensibility, we introduce a string transformation which takes your string type, runs it as a shell command, collects its standard out, and returns that string as a type. This powers all of the examples we discussed above. Check the paper for more details. It is sometimes necessary to obtain structured data rather than just a string from the oracle. For example, the database schema returns a JSON object. Fortunately, parsing JSON at the TypeScript type level is easily accomplished via well understood and sound engineering practices. I'm not sure why this slide is here. I can't think of any security vulnerabilities that would arise from running arbitrary shell commands at type checking time, so never mind. In any case, we actually definitely implemented this, and you can take a look at our implementation at this address. Thanks for listening.